All right, hello everyone and welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How's everyone doing? Happy WrestleMania Day. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. <clears throat> kind of funny to say that, right? Because it really isn't like a, a national holiday or anything. But if you are a fan of professional wrestling, this entire weekend has been pretty wild and wacky with all the stuff that goes on during WrestleMania weekend. Uh, you know, we had NXT TakeOver on Friday night. There was the WWE Hall of Fame induction ceremony yesterday. And today we've got actual WrestleMania. So I said, hey, with all that going on, isn't this the perfect time for me to bring back my WWE simulation matches? Right? Pretty cool. I haven't done one of these since December. <clears throat> you know, back when I was actively playing WWE 2K16. And, uh, you know, a lot of time has passed. A lot of other games have gone and come and gone. But this is the kind of game that's fun to come back to from time to time. And I said, if I'm going to do it, it's certainly going to be uh, during a weekend that makes sense. And this is certainly a weekend that makes sense. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being here. We got a lot, uh, a lot going on. Let me explain how this is going to work. For those of you who have never attended my simulation matches before, you may be wondering, gee, how does it work? Well... Here's how it works. Basically, I am going to create matches in WWE 2K16 using uh, fantasy characters. Meaning, not real wrestlers. Created characters that people all over the globe have made and uploaded to the community creation server. <clears throat> now, here's the deal. It varies greatly. Uh, I've had many different characters over the years. I've had cartoon characters, comic book characters, horror villains, uh, television actors, musicians, sports celebrities. Last time, when I did my simulations in December, it was Conan O'Brien. Conan O'Brien won the Christmas Fantasy Royal Rumble. <laughs> so that's the kind of stuff that you can expect from the Fantasy Sims. It's totally over the top. Crazy, zany, unexpected. Anyone could show up at any time. <clears throat> and it's certainly not to be taken seriously. Let's put it that way. All right. Now, I'm fully aware that today is WrestleMania. In fact, WrestleMania itself begins in three hours and 45 minutes from right now when I'm talking. So knowing that, I certainly don't want my stream uh, to cut into WrestleMania. That would be kind of ridiculous. If, you know, people are fans of wrestling. They want to see WrestleMania, but they also want to see my fantasy Sims. So here's what I'm doing. Uh, today's stream is going to compo be composed of five matches. All right. I'll give you a little preview here on the pre-stream so you know what to expect. There's going to be an elimination tag match. There's going to be a triple threat ladder match. And actually, I might just make it a TLC match now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, there's going to be a Hell in a Cell match. There will be a title match. And then to end the stream, there's going to be a 30-man over-the-top rope Andre the Giant Fantasy Battle Royal match. Okay, so five matches. And, you know, in the past, sometimes I would do more or less. But being that we are in a time constraint here where I don't want to overrun into WrestleMania, uh, that's why I'm doing the amount of matches that I'll be doing today. Now, out of all those matches I just mentioned... Three of them are complete and utter fantasy, meaning they have nothing to do with WrestleMania at all. It's just matches that I fabricated myself based off of current things that have been going on, okay? Uh, two of the matches are actual matches that are taking place at WrestleMania, but they have a twist. I'm not just going to leave it plain vanilla. These aren't boring, you know, just plain vanilla sims and let the computer play it out. Absolutely not. You're going to see it's going to be pretty crazy, uh, the stuff that happens in these matches. I think you're going to enjoy it, okay? <clears throat> I apologize, my sinuses are acting up. They've been acting up since I woke up this morning. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm very much looking forward to this Fantasy Sims. Now the thing is, that la the last match of the night, as I said, is going to be a uh, Andre the Giant over-the-top rope battle royal. That match typically takes an hour. So I just want to forewarn everyone here. That the final match tonight is going to be very long. It usually almost always takes about an hour. Because there's 30 entrants. And they each have like a minute before they come out. Plus when the ring fills up. 
the entrance can't come out. There's only six people can be in, in the ring at once, according to the, the limitations of the game. So, there's potential that that match could go on a long time, depending on what happens. Okay. So, there you have it. That's going to be uh, today's stream. And I hope you enjoy it. It's something different, right? Um, you know, I used to do these every single month. I used to do simulations. And over the years, even though I am still a fan of pro wrestling, and I do still watch pro wrestling, I find that uh, it's not exactly the most popular thing anymore, at least in my content, when I do this kind of stuff. But I do like to come back to it for time to time. I know that many of you are pro wrestling fans. Then again, I know that many of you aren't. And you're probably just here to see whatever hilariousness happens. And trust me, that's perfectly fine. You're going to see some hilarious shit today on stream. I guarantee you. <clears throat> now, here's the deal. Some of these matches could be really fast, right? Some of them could end up being like super quick. Others may take forever. It all depends what the computer does because these are all computer controlled matches. I'm not playing in them. They're all simulated by the CPU. And that's the thing. Sometimes the AI does like perfect shit and finishes the match in like two minutes and other times it takes a ridiculous amount of time to get through a match so in the case let's say that by some amazing uh coincidence or some kind of crazy circumstance all of the matches end very quickly then i will probably throw in one or two more extras i actually have enough created wrestlers to do some extra stuff <clears throat> and uh I think that, that that will work out well. I do. I think that even if it, we, we, we end up really early, uh, I could still squeeze in a little bit more for you. The thing is, I didn't want to put too much on the schedule knowing that I need to finish the stream by 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern when WrestleMania starts, okay? Um, also, FYI, I am going to be watching WrestleMania tonight, but uh, basically I don't want to be spoiled. So but once I start... Watch, or once uh, WrestleMania begins, excuse me, I'm going to go into a social media blackout. I'm not going to be reading social media. I'm not going to be doing too much in regards to that. I will probably be tweeting, you know, when I upload the weekend preview. And if I upload later tonight, I'm actually going to be playing the Final Fantasy uh, 15 demo. So when I do that, I'll probably be tweeting up for that. But I'm not going to be checking social media because there's a tendency for huge spoilers. Uh, on social media during Wrestlemania, so I'm gonna be tuned out once it begins, okay? So that being said, don't don't worry if you know you're trying to say something to me or contact me and I'm not responding or whatever I'm not, you know, you send me an email, you tweet me, gee, what's Phil? Well, that's why. I'm not gonna be responding pretty much all tonight to anything. All right. Now, you may hear the air conditioner on in the background. That is because it is on. It is very hot in my office. It was over 90 degrees when I walked in here, so I turned it on. <clears throat> it is a necessary evil of this time of year when it heats up in Washington. My office heats up, so it has to be on, and there's nothing that can be done about it. Sorry about that if it bothers you. What else is going on? Tomorrow, I'll be doing... More Persona 3 tomorrow. I'll also be putting up a special vlog that will combine my NXT TakeOver as well as WrestleMania thoughts. Kind of my reactions to both events. That'll be going live tomorrow night on the King of Hate Vlogs, my vlogging channel. This week we're going to have the premiere of Quantum Break. We're going to have the continuation of... <clears throat> excuse me. The continuation of Dark Souls 3. You may also see some more Street Fighter 5 and or Pokemon Tournament this week. You may also see some more Persona 3. We'll have to see how this week goes, okay? <clears throat> I have no idea uh, how long of a game Quantum Break actually is, so depending on how long it takes me to get through it is going to depend on how much more time I have to do other things this week, okay? <clears throat> Alright, so that's pretty much it. I want to, obviously I got to go through my gratuitous plugs, and then we're going to begin, okay? So, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to thank you for being here on stream, I appreciate your attendance. And if you're watching this on demand on YouTube, I appreciate your attendance. If you like my daily streams, if you like my on-demand videos, if you like my vlogging and my edited content and you've been enjoying everything I'm doing this year, there are several ways that you can help support the business to make sure that I can keep doing this. The first and foremost is obviously to watch the videos, duh. But also to spread the word and let everyone know. If you watch something that's really fun, if you watch today's Fantasy Sims, you really enjoy it, 
Tell people about it. Tell other people to check it out, because the more people that watch, obviously it benefits me. All right? Social media. At they call me DSP is my Twitter handle. And daily, I post up updated schedules. I post up my thoughts on different things going on in pop culture. Uh, I, I talk about things in my personal life that are going on. And, uh, you know, lots of people. I've got over 20,000 followers on Twitter. If you don't follow me on Twitter, consider doing it. It's cool. And if you do follow me on Twitter and you enjoy my tweets, please retweet and fave the ones that you like. Because the bottom line is, the more social media reach that a person has, the better it is for their business in this day and age. And I never used to really emphasize this, but in this time, I actually think that it is pretty important. <clears throat> so please, consider following me on Twitter and tweeting and retweeting and faving or whatever it's called, my tweets. Okay? Um, in addition to that, and every single live stream and video that I upload, if you check the description, you will notice that there is a link to an Amazon associate account. All you need to do, if you already shop on Amazon, when you're about to shop, click on that link first if you live in the United States, and then shop as normal. And it gives me some cool referral credit. Unfortunately, it's not good outside of the United States, but uh, if you do live domestically, that is a way that you can help out. Now, no matter where you live... You can contribute to my Patreon. That's at patreon.com forward slash darksidephil. For your pledges, you not only directly support my business and allow me to continue to do this in the long term, but you also get personal perks, such as and including getting text or verbal thank yous in my videos. You could also get your questions answered on my bi-monthly Q&A show, Ask the King, which I am doing at the end of this month. Okay? You can also... Get a private Q&A video made, or one of the biggest perks is getting in on voting events. For example, this month, patrons who pledged $5 or more last month in, in March are going to be voting on what Blizzard game they want to see me play in a marathon at the end of this month. Will it be World of Warcraft? Will it be Heroes of the Storm? Or will it be Hearthstone? It's all in the hands of the patrons. So there you have it. Pretty cool, right? You get all that cool stuff for being a patron. So please consider pledging at patreon.com forward slash darksidephil. And obviously, I would love it if people pledged big amounts, but the bottom line is this. You may think to yourself, man, I really can't afford it. It's, it's you know, to give Phil any kind of significant amount of money, I don't have a lot. The bottom line is it's not what it's about. Patreon, the way it works, the way it's most successful, is when a bunch of people give a little. The most successful Patreon accounts out there on the internet are have a bunch of people, thousands of people who give a dollar. I'm not kidding you. That's how it works. Because it adds up. So a dollar a month helps me significantly. Please consider it, especially if you are a constant viewer of my content. You enjoy it and you'd like to see me continue to do it in the long term. All right. And last but not least, you can always check out my girlfriend's business, which is called The Black Current. She sells handmade glycerin soaps at Wax Tart Melts. You can find that business over at Etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash The Black Current spelled C-U-R-R-A-N-T. Tons of people have checked this out. In fact, she's had, at this point, I think over 200 orders. Uh, shipped hundreds of products all over the world. She ships internationally, not everywhere, but to a lot of places. Uh, in addition to that, she just launched her spring line of product, which is a nice line of product. I can vouch for it because I'm using it. Uh, I, every time I shower, I'm using her soap, and I love this stuff. Her wax tart melts are also a great alternative to burning a candle, which can be a little dangerous because of open flame. By the way, she's actually researching right now how to do candles. So it's actually possible that in the near future she'll be selling candles as well. We'll have to see. So check it out again, Etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash the black current. Alright everyone, thank you very much for listening to my babbling. I think it is time for us. To set up and begin with the Wrestlemania Sims. I hope you're excited. I'm excited. I love these Sim matches. I I seriously, like, cannot wait to do them. The problem is, unfortunately, like I said, uh, they're not the most popular thing I do anymore. So it's not like I, I'm going to do them monthly. But when you get a big event like this and there's a reason to do it, I will definitely do it. Alright. Thank you, everyone, for being here for the Fantasy Sims. I appreciate your attendance. I hope that you have a good time. I'll say, here's your last chance right now. If you're going to go grab a snack or a drink. Or, uh, you know, whatever you need to do to use the restroom to get ready. Now is your chance. The way this is going to work, FYI. <clears throat> I'm going to set up a match. We're going to play it. 
Then we're going to go on a short break so that I could set up the next match, okay? And the way it works is, unfortunately, I don't want to spoil the matches and spoil who's in them. So I am going to kind of go dark on the stream in between the matches to set them up, okay? But, uh, you know, it'll work out well. It will. I think it'll work out well, and I think you're going to enjoy it. I always do it like this, and people really seem to enjoy it. It almost... It almost... So it seems like a, it's a, its own pay-per-view, right? In a pay-per-view, you get a match and then an intermission and then a match and then an intermission. That's kind of how this is going to go. All right. However, the good news is I have already set up the first match. So right now, as soon as I end this pre-stream, we could jump right into the first match. And I think you're going to enjoy it, okay? <clears throat> All right. Sound good? All right, everyone. I would like to say thank you for being here, and let us begin with the 2016 WrestleMania Fantasy Sims. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm a little overexcited. Let me relax here. <laughs> 